Okay, so we are now on Thursday, day four of our lesson plans, if you have been following along with me. For your spelling, you should be on your third different activity from the choice board. Uh, remember that your spelling words are listed in this week's lesson, or I can post them and put them in the story if it's easier to have them right next to you. Now, the next activity that you are going to complete is the check for understanding. Remember, we read a safety plan. You may want to go back and read it, or you can go back and listen to the recording of me reading it. But you probably will need to go back to it to be able to answer the questions. You are also going to need the anchor chart available of procedural text. Because the very first question is asking what characteristics of this text help you know that it's procedural text. Well, remember that the characteristics of a procedural text is that there's a title, which is identifying the process being described. There's signal words, such as first, next, finally. There's a material list, which is showing the items that you need. There's a numbered list and there's a conclusion. So I want you to go back through our safety plan and see which of these characteristics were there and then list them for number one. Um, because we do know that this is a procedural text. I just want you to point out which characteristics help the reader know that it is a procedural text. Number two says, what do you think is the author's purpose for including the chart on natural disasters? Well, the chart that they are talking about is on page 510 that lists types of natural disasters. And you can see them all right here on top of a description of what they are. So I want you to think about why the author would include this um, as we're trying to get a safety plan together. Now, number three, sorry, let me find it, says, what text evidence supports the idea that families should create a safety plan together? Well, that means you're going to have to go back to the story and find where the author discusses this idea of families creating a safety plan together and why it's showing that that's a good idea. And then finally, how can preparing for an emergency help keep people safe? Synthesize information from different sections of the text in your response. Well, remember, synthesizing means that your thinking and growing is changing as you read. So you might already have an idea of what is going to occur or what this was about, but then as you're reading, maybe your ideas are getting bigger or they're changing. So some things to keep in the back of your head. At first I thought, but now I think. Remember, when you're synthesizing, you are saying what you think and you're not just retelling. And you are basing this off of what you have read. So you're not retelling the story. You're not copying anything from the text that we read. You are going to tell me why, after reading this, you think preparing for an emergency helps keep people safe based off of everything that we have read. If you have any questions, you can write a comment in your portfolio and I'll answer it, or you can comment on this video in our storyboard on Class Dojo, and I will comment as well. Remember that aside from number one, I do want complete sentences for your responses for two, three, and four. And then when you're done, go ahead and just snap a picture of it and upload it into your portfolio. All right, I'll see you guys in a few.